implementing any new tool or teaching strategy requires serious thought. I remember being so excited about new teaching strategies and tools that I would try to fit them into the curriculum whether they belong there or not. Finding the right place for project-based learning or a flipped classroom approach is an important part of the process. Here are a few considerations for finding the curricular fit for, this, for these new methods. What are some concepts which have always been troublesome? In any curriculum, there are certain concepts which are challenging for learners. A project-based or flipped lesson might be a good way to reach students without them being bogged down as they have been in the past. What are concepts that have real-world connections? Students are always asking, when will I need to know this? Using projects or a flipped approach can provide students with the opportunities to use knowledge and skills in ways that are used in the real world. What concepts are cornerstones for learning? There are some concepts in our curriculums that are central. These are the skills and knowledge which if learners struggle, then they will be struggling with numerous other concepts which build on this cornerstone. Again, using projects or a flipped approach could help students master the key con components the first time without the need for reteaching. What components of the curriculum are personal struggles? Let's face it, we're all human. In any curriculum, there will be parts which are difficult for us to teach. Maybe our own understanding is a little foggy. Maybe we learned one way to do a procedure and we have trouble envisioning other methods. Flipping this part of the cur curriculum will allow experts to help teach the concept to students and maybe to you as well. As we discuss curricular fit, think of some other broad categories beyond the four discussed here, which can be used to define curriculum pieces which might be better taught with a project-based or flipped approach. Thank you.